I remember waking up after several days, and as soon as I open my eyes, I see my mother, I see my father, my brothers, uh, my younger sister, and everyone just had tears in their face, and I was confused. I was, why everyone's crying? And then it hit me that, um, that I got shot. I wanted to be a, a professional basketball player since I was six years old. You know, people would say I was amazing, you know, since the age of seven. I'm the youngest of five sons, single parent home. During the 1980s, my, my father was shot. My, my second oldest brother was shot in the 90s. My cousin was shot in the early 2000s, and he is now paralyzed. My oldest brother is currently serving a, a life sentence in federal prison. I've always used basketball to help provide better opportunities for myself. I attended Elms College and was able to get offered a basketball contract to play overseas in Europe. Basketball was an outlet for me to, you know, not just get a better education, but also, you know, you know, have that lifetime dream of um, playing professional sports. Three short weeks before I was supposed to leave, it was nighttime, um, leaving the corner store on my street. I sat down in my vehicle, um, you know, getting ready to close the door to leave, and that is when the two individuals approached me um, with weapons out. You know, I remember thinking, am I going to die at that instance? I remember waking up on the concrete. I couldn't move my legs, I couldn't stand up, and then I noticed a substance felt like water. I reached around to see what this substance was, and that's when I saw my hands full of blood. One of my first thoughts was, will I be able to play basketball again? Then I thought, will I be able to walk again? Both my lungs collapsed. Uh, I suffered from internal bleeding. I was in bad shape. I had to take baby steps to learn to walk again. And I was just trying to understand what my new life was going to be about. I started to become angry. I wanted to get justice. Those individuals that hurt me, I wanted to hurt them. But I started to think that's what keeps the cycle of violence going in our community is retaliation. That is when, you know, my life began to take a turn and being able to find my voice and, and find a new purpose in life. <laughs> 